Welcome back to another episode of American Outdoors. Today, we're uncovering the facts and dispelling a few myths, some controversial, about portable electric space heaters and what you need to know before using one at home. Many believe that some space heaters are more efficient than others. But here's the truth. Almost all plug-in heaters consume about the same amount of power, typically 1,500 watts. So does one really outperform another? We'll look at four different types, infrared, ceramic, oil-filled, and fan-forced, and share the benefits and drawbacks of each design. We will also dive into utility costs, where that electricity bill can really add up, and finally, their effectiveness and the hidden safety concerns that can come with these heaters. So settle in and let's get started. When it comes to heat, electricity is almost always the most expensive source of energy. So you ask, if I want to get the best bang for my space heater buck, what do I need to do? Well, you're watching this video, so that's a start. To be clear, we are referring to 1500 watt models. This is the largest portable heater available in the United States that can be plugged into a standard 120 volt wall outlet. They can range in sizes small enough to fit on your desk to as big as an end table. But 1500 watts is 1500 watts. Regardless of the price, marketing, the pretty box, or what eBay tells you, size does not matter. It also doesn't matter if it is an oil-filled radiator style or fan-driven. They all produce approximately 5,120 British thermal units. It should also be noted that they are all 100% efficient. However much energy is pulled from the outlet, it will go straight into the room. If the blower fan motor creates heat, it is released into the room. If the power cord gets hot, it is released into the room. While advertisers may claim so, there is no unit that is more efficient than another. The 1500 watt desktop model generates the same amount of heat as the four foot tall fireplace with a 1500 watt insert. Now there are applications where a certain type of unit is preferred over others, but note that I said preferred. We'll go into more detail with that shortly. Maybe the cheaper ones can put out the most heat because they are the most likely to catch fire. Space heaters are akin to riding the merry-go-round. You can climb onto the horse, the hot rod car, or sit in the coach, but they all go around at the same speed. It also should be said that 100% efficiency doesn't necessarily mean economical. The manufacturer might state that their space heater is rated at the same wattage as a coffee maker, hair dryer, or microwave. That may be true, but those appliances don't run for eight hours a day. 100% efficiency doesn't mean you are getting the most heat for your dollar. As an example, let's say that nationwide, the average cost of a kilowatt hour is 15 cents. Of course, that number can vary widely depending on where you live. But suppose you were to run a single 1,500 watt space heater only at night when you slept, say eight hours. 1,500 watts equals 1.5 kilowatts. So 1.5 kilowatt hours times eight hours equals 12 kilowatt hours per day. 12 kilowatt hours times 15 cents per hour is $1.80 per day. $1.80 each day times 30 days adds an additional $54 to your electric bill. That is one portable heater plugged in at night while you sleep. And by the way, 32% of all house fires are due to portable heaters, just edging out arson. The vast majority of those occur during December and January. Common causes for these fires are shorted and overloaded circuits. Do not use extension cords or power strips. And if the cord or the wall outlet area is warm, unplug the heater. So now we'll focus on the different types of space heaters. This is where each style will have advantages and disadvantages based on purpose, room size, and environment. The first on our list is the Radiant Oil-Filled Convection Heater. It works very simply by heating the oil inside the radiator, which transfers heat to the radiator's fins, causing warm air to rise, carrying heat with it, and creating convection currents. Oil-filled heaters are among the safest. They are quiet and will maintain a consistent temperature once the room has warmed up, and they don't dry the air out as with fan-assisted models. They retain heat and will continue to warm a room even after being shut off. The downside is that they are slow to heat up, they are also heavy and awkward to move. The surface can get hot enough to burn you. Price-wise, oil-filled units can be expensive when compared to other space heaters. 
If you need to warm an average-sized room up on a cold day in 15 minutes, an oil-filled heater is not for you. Next is the ceramic heater. These heaters use a ceramic heating element to warm the air. Some of the upsides to these units are that they are smaller and more portable than radiator-style heaters. They can be placed on a tabletop, beneath a desk, in an RV, or garden shed. They heat up almost instantly and have a built-in fan, which helps disperse the warm air evenly throughout the area, making the room feel warmer faster. The fans are usually quiet, and the ceramic element doesn't get as hot as a traditional heating element. They are also typically more affordable than oil-filled or infrared space heaters. A few of the downsides that we have experienced are that ceramic heaters can dry out the air, which might be an issue for people with respiratory issues. They also cannot be placed near flammable materials and should not be left unattended. Moving down our list, we come to infrared heaters. They are a somewhat unique heating device that utilizes infrared technology to directly warm objects and people in a room rather than heating the air. They are available in varying styles with advanced features like remotes and timers, which may be more appealing in living rooms and common areas, although they are often used in offices, garages, and work areas. When you need to heat a specific area, such as a desk, couch, or a small room, infrared heaters can provide direct warmth. There are also models designed for outdoor use, such as patios or balconies. They do well in drafty areas or for warming cold spots. And like all modern space heaters, they have a tip-over device that shuts the unit off to prevent the risk of fire. All that being said, because they are designed for targeted heating, they do not do so well in large rooms, and unless they are positioned correctly, they can cause uneven heating patterns. There is also a higher initial cost for an infrared unit compared to other types of space heaters. Additionally, while generally safe, Prolonged exposure to direct infrared radiation can cause eye discomfort. Finally, let's look at one of the most traditionally used space heaters on the market, the forced air electric element utility model. In the simplest terms, an electric current passes through the exposed metal heating element and a built-in fan blows air across the element, heating the air. That air is then blown out and into the room. These heaters are commonly used in offices, shops, and work areas for everything from thawing out cold feet to frozen plumbing. Their popularity is due to being generally inexpensive to purchase. They are simple to operate, yet many models offer features like adjustable thermostats, timers, and multiple heat settings. They are portable, and best of all, they can quickly and evenly heat up a room. So what's not to like, right? The main drawback to these heaters might be their simplicity. Their fans can be noisy and not optimal for use in a bedroom, TV room, or an office setting. They can dry out the air, leading to dry skin, eyes, or respiratory issues. And even though they have tip-over safety features, are still a risk as a fire hazard. They are price-friendly, versatile, quick to heat, and portable. They can also be noisy, tend to be utilitarian, can dry the air, and be a fire hazard. Now, previously in this video, we pointed out that all 1,500-watt space heaters are equal, meaning they are all 100% energy efficient, 1,500 watts in, and 5,120 British thermal units out. However, as we've shown, depending on the specific environment, one version can be more effective than another. The problem is advertisers misleading consumers and hyping each new product as more powerful and more energy efficient. 1,500 pounds of rocks are not heavier than 1,500 pounds of feathers. These specific space heaters all produce the same amount of heat. The only difference is how that heat is put into the air. If you want fast heat for a short period of time, use a heater with a fan. If you want to keep a room at a consistent temperature over a longer period of time, use an oil-filled heater. If you want to feel warm while in a cold room, use a radiant heater and aim it at the space you will occupy. Also, a portable space heater is a room heater. It is not designed for heating your entire home. Our earlier analysis of a single heater costing $54 a month in electricity for eight hours of use each day disproves any idea of saving money on your utility bill by running multiple space heaters. If you have any questions or comments about the information we provided, be sure to leave them below. You can find more of our videos at AmericanOutdoors.net 
And you can also check us out on Facebook, X, and Pinterest. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you all again soon. So long for now.